Good morning. It's Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, That Work Ethic Thing. In our scriptures, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, where the Apostle Paul writes, And now, dear brothers and sisters, we give you this command in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stay away from all believers who live idle lives and don't follow the tradition they received from us. For you know that you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you. We never accepted food from anyone without paying for it. We worked hard day and night so we would not be a burden to any of you. We certainly had the right to ask you to feed us, but we wanted to give you an example to follow. Even while we were with you, we gave you this command. Those unwilling to work will not get to eat. Yet we hear that some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and meddling in other people's business. We command such people and urge them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and work to earn their own living. As for the rest of you, dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. Most of us don't have trouble accepting references to God as a loving deity, always providing, meeting our needs because He cares for us. It's nice to have on your side the all-powerful, nothing-too-hard-for-him, heavenly bequeather of miracles and Cadillacs. It's nice, that is, until He tells you what your part in that relationship will be. Apostle Paul's letter to the folks at Thessalonica was like that. As a minister, prophet, evangelist, Paul was accustomed to hard work, hard times, and, of course, the hard truth. He reminded the church God gave us plenty of blessings, including a body and mind to work in harvesting those blessings, for ourselves as well as to be a blessing for others. Jesus suffered and died on the cross for our sins. That cross made salvation available, but God requires us to accept it. That is the conditional truth about being redeemed. We don't work for it, but it leads us to his work. That was what Paul was teaching when he worked alongside those folk at Thessalonica. Paul wanted them to understand that, quote, freedom in Christ, unquote, was not about being lazy in Christ. Just as a child is born and brought into this world without a stitch of clothing, history, or strength to fend for him or herself, a newborn believer is reborn by Christ's love and forgiveness. The child must then stay close to the parents and be nurtured and schooled and brought into the reality of becoming an adult, mature, and ready to become productive. That is the process, both natural and spiritual. Paul saw in some of the Thessalonian believers that discipleship process had been stunted, their development into disciples had been arrested in infancy, and they were still living as if that cross had no power to change their lives. They were living into their preferences of being lazy and meddlesome. Paul's advice to them was simple and appropriate. If you won't work, don't expect to eat. It is wisely said that there are two kinds of people, givers and takers, Notice what Paul said at the end of our text. Dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. He might have added for those of us who have trouble connecting the dots, and you can't do much good if you won't work to support yourself and gain a little more to share with others. For you today, you don't have to be a billionaire to be a philanthropist. Listen to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary definition of philanthropy. The Greek root of philanthropy may be literally translated as loving people. The English word can refer to general goodwill to one's fellow people, as well as to the active effort to promote the welfare of people. But in modern use, it's most often used to refer specifically to the practice of giving money and time to help make life better for others.
Christian giving is not about how much you give. It's about what you keep for yourself. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.